In this video I'll be demonstrating Raspberry or Trinity Stitch. Check out the description for other projects that feature this stitch. Learn how to decrease and work in the round with my other video guides. In this project I'm using Freedom Wool by Twilies of Stamford. Now it's a chunky yarn requiring a 10mm needle. So for results similar to mine, marry the ball band tension. Raspberry or Trinity Stitch works in multiples of four stitches and four rows. So in this case, I have cast on 16 stitches. Row one is a right side row and we are simply going to purl all the way across. So going into the front of every stitch and purling. So purl all the way to the end, whether you have 16 stitches, 32, 48 or 80, the principle is the same. So that's row one. So row two, enter into the first stitch and what we're going to do is in fact make three stitches from one and we're going to do this first of all by knitting into the stitch without taking it from the left needle then we bring the yarn to the front and we purl into the same stitch again keeping it on the left needle for now yarn to the back and knit into the same stitch. Now we can release it from the left needle. So we have knitted one, purled one, knitted one, all into one stitch. Next, bring the yarn to the front and we want to enter into the next three stitches purlwise. We are going to purl three together. And we're repeating that sequence right until the end. Into the next stitch, knit, purl, knit, take off the left needle, so we've knitted, purled, knitted into one stitch. Bring the yarn to the front and this time enter into the next three stitches and purl three together. So we're halfway into the next stitch, knit, purl, knit, and then purl three together. We have our last set of four stitches. Knit, purl, knit, knit, 
and end by purling three together. And that completes row two. Row three is the same as row one. Remember it's a right side row and we get a nice little break because we're just purling all the way across. So that's row three. So for row four, we begin this time by purling three together. So we're staggering the stitch pattern sequence. Yarn to the back and then into the next stitch, we're going to knit, purl, knit all into the same stitch. Repeat that until the end. So purl three together. And knit, purl, knit, into the same stitch purl three together knit purl knit Purl three together, and end by knitting, purling, and knitting into that last stitch. So those are the four rows that are required for raspberry or trinity stitch. So when you repeat rows one to four, you build up this beautiful Trinity stitch pattern. I'd like to thank you for watching.